The next stroke I'd like to share with you, still using a flat brush, what we call a comma brush stroke. This is one that is angled to the left. So we're going to make sure again that our brush is fully loaded with Folk Art Licorice. I'm going to touch the surface. You can see I'm holding my brush on an angle. I begin to apply pressure and as I move towards me, I'm going to start releasing pressure and end back up on the chisel edge. That's what makes the fat part and the thin part of this stroke. So again, my brush is loaded with paint. Let's go ahead and do one. Touch, apply pressure, pull, lift, and drag. Touch, apply pressure, pull, lift, and drag. And that creates a comma stroke to the left. Now, we have a downloadable PDF available on platonline.com, which is a practice guide to help you practice creating these brush strokes. You can print this out on your computer and again, practice your strokes directly on top of mine. Touch, apply pressure, pull, lift, and drag. Touch, apply pressure, pull, lift, and drag. If you choose not to practice your strokes directly on the printed paper, you can use a sheet of parchment paper or artist tracing paper, lay that over the practice guide and use that as a way to practice. Again, touch, apply pressure, pull, lift, and drag. Touch, apply pressure, pull, lift, and drag. Now that you've kind of practiced how to do a brush stroke to the left, which is again called a comma stroke, we're gonna learn the comma stroke to the right. It's basically the same thing, the same stroke, but in reverse. So you're gonna again use your number 10 flat brush. You're gonna to touch down Apply pressure, again, kind of pull, lift, and drag to get back up onto that um, chisel edge of the stroke. So let's try it like this. We're gonna touch, apply pressure, begin to pull, lift, and drag as I'm pulling towards me. And again, I'm gonna end up on that chisel edge of the stroke. And that's how you create a comma stroke to the right.